The real problem with today is not political, again. It is not what is going on in politics. That is the real problem. The real problem, again, is that people are socially engineered into endless genealogies, thinking that they are but mere animals. This is the real problem. We have Austin Kramer here, who in our video, What's Wrong with the Documentary, JFK to 9-11, Everything is a Rich Man's Trick. It's gotten quite a few views. It's done a pretty good job on getting the refutation of endless genealogies out there. We do ask you to pray that this video become more available and out there so that people can see that the refutation of these Gnostic philosophical natural philosophy Gnostic doctrines that they're trying to say in this video, remember, that this is all religion is a rich man's trick and that that's the point behind this video. We give the subsequent refutation of Gnosticism, endless genealogies ministering more questions and answering nothing. But as you see, we had Austin Kramer come by today and he says, So a Christian will tell me the problems with rich man's trick. He asks a question mark here. So I tell him here, watch these videos on the point behind 1 Timothy 1.4. Neither give heed to mystery religion myths and endless genealogies, which cause more questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do. I tell him, remember, in true science, less questions in discovery bring more answers, as the unified theory of everything demands. So this is the problem with endless genealogies, right? The problem is when you seek after, like NASA and all these Gnostics, these scientists, quote unquote, Remember, the word scientist means Gnostic, somebody who's claiming to have gnosis, knowledge. The problem again, though, is that when they're seeking after endless genealogies, it's just bringing about more questionings because the theory of endless genealogies, that the universe is made out of one cosmological genealogical tree, Maybe there's a genealogical tree on different planets is what they're speculating in alien race DNA life. Or whatever the endless mythology leads to in examining the universe, it's all leading to a speculation with more questionings, more data that they find that is complicating the unified theory of everything that they want to discover, right? So a small unified theory of everything, a small mathematical equation, gives us more answers. But what happens when you go into endless genealogies? You go into endless genealogies and it just brings about more data, more questioning. Because if you have more discoveries, like they're discovering now, that they cannot understand the problems behind why there hasn't been a unified theory of everything yet... Some of you who are educated in what's going on in the scientific community know they have been stunted and they have these theories, they have string theory, they have all their theories, but nothing has been provable and it will not. And even if they come up with some theory, what's left is you just analyzed the universe and you did not answer the question on who created the universe. And this is what Paul is saying to Timothy. That true science does not leave more questions. True science gives you answers. And so we tell him, watch this video here, these ones here. And we tell him, when you understand the Holy Bible's historicity on how you, as a socially engineered mind control slave of Masonic Darwin clan myth making, have been duped into the real rich man's trick of endless genealogies, you will realize that you were never told the truth on how volumes 1 through 9 of the anti-Nicene fathers, that is the Nicene fathers pre the Council of Nicaea and the New Testament, volumes 1 through 9 itself, the New Testament itself debunked Richard Conley's Masonic mind control of natural philosophy. The problem right now is that you only have a reference point of mind control you are under, so do yourself a favor and understand the refutation of all heresies 
which is the refutation of Gnostic cosmology and cosmogony. So I tell them to watch the playlist, and this is the kind of people we need to be praying for. Because what's happening in the public schools is that in the public schools, the mystery religions are making mind control slaves. And they don't have a reference point by which to respond to Christians anymore. They think that Christians have been confuted. They think Christians have been refuted. They think their evolutionary myth-making is the only thing that stands. But a lot of these people belong to the mystery religions. We know that. So they're not really interested in true science. But there are people who are involved that have gotten mind-controlled into the Masonic myth of evolution. That's why it's important for them to understand the real rich men's trick. So the Bible has confuted this by saying that the time will come when people will be ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge, the epigenosis of the truth. You see, ever learning is buying into endless cosmological genealogies because they are endless. They require ever learning. This is the true rich man's trick. Ever learning. Never being able to actually learn something. Never being able actually to come to the true knowledge of what truth is. That truth gives you answers and it satisfies ultimately your soul. When you find the truth, when you find the way, when you find the life that is in the Lord Jesus Christ, it will satisfy your soul. Especially if you've tried everything else. Especially as many sinners who have come to the knowledge of the truth and have repented and have seen that the world has really nothing to offer in its vain hope in its empty deception of the rich man's trick of evolution, which is what the mystery religions, the Darwins, the Huxleys, the Illuminati clans want to believe in in our day, the ones behind the United Nations, the invented god of forces they serve, which is naturalism, which is ancient natural philosophy. And I realize today that this is really the problem. Yesterday also I was listening to the show, quote-unquote, of Alex Jones, and I want you to listen to a little bit about what he says, because he was really on Friday, October 7th, 2016. You know how he gets into these philosophical jargons where he does more than present the news, but he gets into all this natural philosophy, starts talking about the cosmos, starts talking about all this Gnosticism that's in his head. And it's a muddy mixture of everything. He's throwing uh, bones at everyone because he doesn't want to lose the audience, really. It's what's going on. But listen to a little bit here, because what I want you to understand that what he says, he doesn't really tackle the real issue. But take a listen. I start sweating. Not even out of fear. It is a biological response when I realize what we're engaged in is 21st century warfare. And the enemy, the White House, the globalists. See, what we're engaged in in 21st century warfare, he doesn't understand that the real warfare is the refutation of endless genealogy. He doesn't get it. Not once in his show did he mention that this is the point. He was talking about the Matrix and how the elite are trying to propagandize people into believing that we live in a Matrix. But it all leads to endless genealogies. So if there was somebody here at InfoWars that could help these people. That's why I do these videos. Because it's my way of, I don't really want to yoke up with these people. Not at all, because they have so much leaven. Unless that leaven get on me. And really, that's the truth. Beware of the leaven, which is hypocrisy. Unless that leaven gets on us, you know, it could damn us, really. But the fact of the matter is, I want to reach out and tell this guy with his platform... That the real problem is the mind control myth of Darwinism. Brainwashing society. Everything that is built in our society, the dog-eat-dog -dog business world, is running off of this principle. That people think that they're mere animals. And that the fallen nature of man somehow proves this myth. Which is nothing but a big Masonic Jesuitical rich man's trick. It is the big lie. But, you know, Jones says things like this, listen, in all this daily talking he has to do. Soros, they're all tuned in daily. 
with their different establishment sites chronicling everything we say and launching talking points against us. Yeah, talking points don't really mean anything when they know they have you hook, line, and sinker into ever learning and ever being able to come to the knowledge of the truth by going to their universities, going and listening to this underlying myth of endless genealogies that the scientific community is supposedly discovering, quote-unquote, looking at all this data and learning and learning and learning into this mind-controlling myth. So they don't care if talking points are given and the Hegelian dialectic going back and forth because they know that you're ever learning and you're never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That is the devil who is Satan, who is Lucifer's trick. And, you know, when I listen to these shows, I think to myself, they don't understand the reputation of endless genealogies. They don't understand that even as Hippolytus said, look at this quote by Hippolytus right here. It's actually really good here. But it says that we propose to furnish an account of the tenets of natural philosophers and who these are. That's the mystery religions, of course, as well as the tenets of moral philosophers and who these are. And thirdly, the tenets of logicians and who these logicians are. The logicians in the days of Hippolytus and the earliest Christians were the deceptive practices of the mystery religions. You see, they promoted all this mystery religion under the guides of it was logic. They tell you that, you know, it's logical to believe in naturalism and evolution and that you've evolved. And these are the tenets of the deceptive logicians. They are using natural philosophy and moral philosophy. Moral philosophy, out. you see, even in our day, the corrupt politicians say they're moral when they're really absolutely depraved and corrupt and full of sin. And they're promoting natural philosophy. No one's challenging the underlining myth of evolution. It's all this Hegelian dialectic info war now. Warring back and forth, which is the very deceptive practice of the mystery religions, of these logicians. But Alex Jones thinks that he's the only one uh, tackling the real issue. Listen to it. Because they're scared of death of what we represent, and they cannot stand no, that the military they're not scared of you. listens to us, the police are listening to us. You've not really woken up anyone unless you deal with the underlining myth of endless genealogies. That's the bottom line. Infowars is not really doing the real awakening unless people awaken to the reality that endless genealogies ministers more questions and does not provide the unified theory of everything because it's incapable. Because once you have all the genealogical data of the universe, you still have not answered who created the universe. And you have more problems because everyone's thinking that they're little gods. And the delusion becomes that we are everything. We are all that was, as the New Agers say, we are the ones we are waiting for in our genes evolving into godhood. This is what it becomes, a delusion. And this is what they're socially engineering the young at the public schools to begin that Gnostic brainwashing by brainwashing them into evolution, which later evolves in the minds as this delusion of thinking that you are God and not honoring God, which is the only place where God will protect, preserve, awaken, deliver, redeem, love, give you joy, give you peace, give you everything you need in the face of all this deception and lies and seduction. So Jones wants to say that basically he's the only one doing what is right. Listen. Most of the people in the government are now listening. They know how accurate we are because no one's ever covered the angles of this like we have. No one's ever covered the angles of this as he has. This is what he wants you to believe, that he's doing the real work. He's not. He's not doing the work of exposing endless genealogies that minister more questions. I don't even think he gets it in his head, the logic behind what God's logic is is saying about endless genealogies and how it ministers more questions. So, they're ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That is the sad reality. So, we wanted to present this video to you today to know that the 
information is going out, the real information on what needs to be confuted, what needs to be tackled in changing minds and hearts because these people who are getting quote-unquote educated by quote-unquote professors, the professors, who are professing their mind control, they are told to repeat by the Illuminati hierarchy, by this Eastern religion of endless genealogies, really that's what it is, all the Eastern religions, Buddhism, Hinduism, they all lead to this irrationality of more myth-making and endless genealogies. Again, the point is to remember that in true science, less questions in discovery brings more answers, as the unified theory of everything demands. So God's logic is there is one God, all-powerful, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, who has a eternal redemptive plan through the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that plan is bringing about the true discovery of what God wants us to discover about eternity and about life and the redemption that we have through it in Jesus Christ our Lord. No other religion has brought about this point about not giving heed to myths and endless genealogies. All other religions believe in Gnostic gods of some sort, which lead to the irrationality that one god is giving rise to another god in endless genealogies. So this is the true work that needs to get done. This is what needs to be done to help these people understand the real problem of why Masonic propaganda, Illuminati propaganda, Jesuitry of every sort all leads back to this mind control myth of endless genealogies. Remember, examining the universe does not tell you how the universe itself created itself, but it does show you the handiwork behind the omnipotent God who told you endless genealogies answers no questions. Until next time, this has been Edifying Others telling you that the true work of God goes on in Jesus' name to deliver people from ever learning and never being able to come to the knowledge of the truth until the captives are set free and delivered from their mind control.